Peace, everybody. How you doing? You know, it's your boy, Illa. We're going to get into it. Let's do it. Illa G, thought of the day. Welcome. Episode 102. Uh, trips, tours, conversations, and, and beef. Or disagreements. However you want to call it. But that's what is going on. Uh, we're going to start always. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Illa Apparel. I'm wearing a shirt now. This is the uh, Sheb shirt. All Illa fans know what that is. Go to Illa Apparel. This is where hip hop meets comfort. You know, it's an online, online service. You order, it goes straight to your house. The merch comes to you. So make sure you go to illaapparel.net and order something. Now, with that being said, let's start it off. First, we're going to talk about, I took a trip to Vegas. And it was nostalgia and weird at the same time. Because the nostalgia part comes from uh, my bro, bless his soul, Prodigy. The last time I was in Vegas, it was with Prodigy. And Prodigy had a show with Noriega there at um, Planet Hollywood. And just to see the whole thing, I, I haven't been there in a while. So just to see the whole thing just was, you know, I just kept thinking about him and, you know, the fun we had. Like, we laughed all night like he... He worked the shit out me on stage because, you know, when it was time for him to perform, um, the, the, the equipment wasn't working right. So when that happened, he was like, yo, Illa, this is my boy Illa G, y'all. Yo, Illa, kick a freestyle. So I say a freestyle, you know, get a nice applause for it. He checked back with the people. Yo, it's, it's, it's working? It's working? Nah. Yo, Ella, say another freestyle. I say another freestyle. Boom, get a nice (laughs) applause. We we check again, is it working? Is it working, is it working? Is we working, we are? No? Yo, Ella, tell him another, (laughs) tell him another one. I'm like, yo, this dude is working the shit out of me right now. Like, so I was like, fuck it, I did it again. It, It happened four times. Four times, I kicked four freestyles. Fuck it. You know, help my boy out. It was cool. Once everything got popping, he rocked it out like he normally do. And, you know, we just had a ball. Went to the uh, to the casino. Uh, was having drinks. P, in fact, P won like nine, nine racks that night. You know, playing the slot machine. Caught one, ready. I think he maybe spent a dollar or something in there and wound up making 9K. He was like, Psh, game over after that. Like, I ain't playing no more, that's it. It's over, so so just being there and then, you know, going to playing in Hollywood and sitting around, like, I was just staring. I know somebody probably seen me and was just, I was just staring in the casino, like, wow. That is fucking amazing. Like, yo, I was last time I was here with my boy, and and I forgot who else was there. I think uh, G.O.D. was there. I think Ron Gotti was there. Uh, it was a couple of us, but I just remember like we walked down to the Bellagio. We watched the whole water shit. We went in the Bellagio. You know, went to their casino and everything. Like it was just a a dope. Uh, actually, just an all around dope night. And you know, I, you know. Bottom line, it just made me miss my boy. And I was just like, damn, son brought me out here. You know, I never seen Vegas at the time. I think I was like, yeah, I probably was not too fresh home from jail, really. Wasn't even supposed to be out there, but I was out there. So that was that part. And, uh, you know, it was it was just dope, the whole thing. It reminds me of, Vegas reminds me of 42nd Street and LA at the same time but it's just a lot more hotels like it has that fusion of 40 deuce in California then the other thing about it I was told where I was staying at is down the block from 
where uh, Tupac was killed. And I went to go pay my respects to that and just walking in that area, going to that area. If you go to my Instagram page, I put up a video of me being in the area of, uh, you know, where it happened, where it's supposed to have happened at. And it was just like, it was it was crazy. It was just like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Well, son lost his life for what? And then just seeing the MGM Grand and, you know, to see like the path, like they probably came down the strip and came down this way and then made a left turn going down to where, uh, you know, the 6-6 six, six Deuce, where they was going to the 6-6 six, six Deuce. And it was, it was so, it was just weird. I actually thought, uh, I thought I may have to like fuck somebody up out there. You know, it's a lot of, like a, <laughs> you know, turns out they was probably like drug addicts or something like that. But, you know, the reason I say that is because, you know, I had on like red suede Jordans and, you know, I seen dudes, like two dudes and, you know, it looked like they had a red flag in their back pocket. And I was just like, oh, I hope that he was like, yo, you got nice sneakers. So it just gave me a flashback in New York where somebody be like, yo, I like your sneakers. You're like, what? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, what? What you said? He's like, I like your sneakers. I thought, you know, his next line was going to be, yo, I, you know, I take them from you. I, I, why? I don't, don't even ask me why. Don't even ask me why. Don't even ask me why, why I thought this. But I was just like, all right. I'm gonna have to fuck somebody up, but he was just like, then after that, he just asked me for a dollar. I was like, get the fuck out of here. A dollar, I'm like, that. that was my stupidity, but you always gotta be on point wherever you go anyway, and realize what you're wearing. Bottom line with that. You know, always be that. But just that area was ill, man. You know, R.I.P. Tupac, man. Gone too soon. <sighs> Makes no sense. You know, shit was just crazy but all around it was dope it was nice relaxing you know it made me think and you know I, I can't wait to go back to Vegas so you know make sure you leave your comments and all that about that at the bottom how you feel about my trip to Vegas I think moving on um I don't know how to with the with the A on it. The NBA Leather Tour hits NYC. Shout outs to Action Bronson and my boy Alchemist. You know, everyone that was on the tour. Uh Boldy James, Earl Sweatshirt, I don't know who else. Um sorry if I messed everybody's name, but I wasn't able to go. I wish I would have went, but it's you know, it's glad to see everybody moving around. Action back on the road, Al and them doing their thing. Um, you know, glad to see Action is healthy, you know, because, you know, I heard he had a scare. And, you know, I seen he was working out crazy, so glad to see him healthy, you know, whatever. You know, back to himself, doing what he need to do. Looks good for the underground artists, you know, so on and so forth. Um, I got a word that, of course, the show was dope. Uh, a lot of people came out and supported. It. it was great, you know what I'm saying? I'm really pissed that I, I should have been there. You know, you never know. I, you know. I see Alchemist did hold you down. Probably would have looked out, let me, you know, get on that on the, on the stage with him. Um, and just, you know, shout outs to Al Perrier for all he's accomplished, you know. All the songs he did, all the placements he got, all the big records he's made. Just, you know, progress and just doing his thing independently, killing the game like a true Scorpio. Killing the game and, you know, also being uh, nominated for a Grammy. Um, some magazine called him the best producer alive. You know, Al has been working, man. Al has been working and, you know, I'm trying to get on that same page because I feel at least we should do an EP together. And you know what I'm saying, rock that out. You know, I'm you know, I haven't murdered an alchemist beat in quite some time, and I feel the alchemist beat needs to be murdered by elegy. Right, completely. That's off the no bullshit. So, you know, shouts to Al for that. And we definitely sooner or later, hopefully sooner, 
me and Al have to put some things together and get that, uh, you know, get that, get that popping in the streets. So, shouts to Al, shouts to everybody. Um, leave your comments on that. Yes, if you really would love to hear um, an Alchemist Elegy project, uh, we're both Scorpios, and you know, I think we, I think we will mesh together. If you, uh, what the last thing, yeah. It was, it was quite a while, like when I first came home, but leave your comments on that. Um, all right, next, moving on. I want to congratulate Mano. Why do you say, why do you want to congratulate Mano, Miller? Well, let me tell you, because son stepped up and he met with the mayor, uh, Eric Adams. I don't know, I don't care about the mayor. He met with Eric Adams to talk things out, you know, because Eric Adams wanted to pull down the drill music. And that is a big step. And that's, and then, like I said, salute the Mano for that, for meeting up with the mayor, straightening things out so, you know, things will be understood. There's an understanding on both sides, you know, about speaking and what is going on and so on and so forth. So that is absolutely dope with that. Um, I really love seeing things like this. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say is like, I really love stuff like that. So once again, real fast, salute to Mano for doing that, for stepping up, um, talking to the man, Eric Adams. Like that's dope. You know what I'm saying? I remember meeting Mano years ago. We, <laughs> you know, I think we basically was like fresh home from jail, but. I digress, you know what I'm saying? I just love the fact that we both haven't went back and both pushing forward and doing the damn thing. So, salute to that. Um, going over to the sports. Why I don't know? Because it's going to be constantly the same thing over and over again. I ain't even uh, even reporting about the, the Brooklyn Nets. I don't know. Um, I think they say Kyrie is back. Kyrie's back. I think KD's supposed to come back. I didn't know they was gone. And, you know, Brooklyn was like, it's like last time I seen, like Brooklyn was like the eighth seed. And, you know, at least they're in the contention of trying to be in the playoffs. Cool. You know, hopefully they get their stuff together. But, you know, you already know. I am a diehard, diehard Knicks fan. It's, yes, it's sad to say I don't give up. Oh, I was wasn't supposed to cut it. I don't give a food of fighter side of harder about what you think about my Knicks. Still a Knicks fan, and we suck. Knicks is trash. I just literally watched them lose like like three games. I think they did it again, like three games in a row. They was up by 20 and lose the game. It's, I mean, but like what we have, like R.J. Barrett, like he's going crazy. Give that man some help. When are y'all going to get this man some help? What are you, what are you guys doing? D. Rose, down. Uh, Kimber Walker, down. Man, where that y'all, oh, uh, man. Like, uh, Derrick Rose wheels has been bad for type something for quite some time. Excuse my English. I was a little hyper for I said, but D Rose had bad wheels for quite some time. So, um, Kimber Walker, damn, cuz, cuz RJ Barrett needs something. You know, Randall, I don't know where he disappeared to. He was, he was the go to guy for a second, but now everyone smokes crack. Everyone, how do you constantly keep, like, wait, yeah, I know it's a 48 minute game, right? And you have to play all 48 minutes. How do you keep losing 20 point leads? Like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Ah, oh, Knicks. Make me want to do Russian roulette with a revolver. Serious. Oh, Jesus. At least a Nick won the dunk contest. But aha. Uh -huh. He wins the worst dunk contest of all time. Yes. Unfortunately, I cannot get that time back, but that dunk contest was the 
You have to put that in uh, capital letters. T H E. The worst dunk contest possibly. Greg Anthony's son put on Tim's. So? What is that? What Tim's is like? What, what they weigh like 900 pounds or something? Is that supposed to make a difference of you dunking with Tim's? See that in the ghetto all the time. Well, and why was that so exciting? And why everybody kept faking the dunk that they couldn't do? If you can't do the <laughs> dunk, don't do it. You're supposed to do stuff that you can do. Not stuff you're just trying right then and there. No, what suck the worst. My son could have won the dunk contest. And he don't even play basketball. I gotta tell you now, but at least a Nick won. If we wanna celebrate something, I guess, I guess we have to celebrate that because that's all. Anything a Nick is gonna win this year. Basically, that sad, sad day. A sad, sad, sad day. Don't even leave a comment. I don't even want to hear it. That about that. Don't even leave a comment with that at all. So we're gonna move on. Um, once again, uh, I was I would say this is brought to you by Illogy.net. Uh, Think Illa. It's the website. Um, if you want to catch up with everything, Illogy. Damn, I can't even say my own name. Illogy. Catch up with everything on Illogy.net. Um, you know, for the web series, everything, everything's on Illogy.net. Um, just in case you don't want to do that, Illogy TV on YouTube, right where you're watching this at. Illogy TV. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, so the algorithm could be played for more people and more people could see this. And thank you all for supporting the podcast so far. Let's continue to do that. Last but not least, Slaughterhouse has beef. Wow. Slaughterhouse has beef. Now, I wouldn't call it beef because beef is totally different. That is some street thing. Somebody got to go. But uh, two members are not happy with the other two members about them. Uh, basically, uh, who, well, I don't really know, but I know two of them is not happy. Um, I don't know about the album or other situations. You know, just recently seen the video of them talking and, you know, they said the business has been bad and so on and so forth, but you know, I, I'm confused about the whole thing because if you, you know, if you upset, then, you know, I, you know, if you upset about it, mm, why would you care if it was recorded? But like I said, I don't know the full story, but I'm just going by what I see. And, you know, honestly, if you are a group and you were about to do something, it should be spoken to with your other partners, whether they're going to support it or be a part of it or not. You know, yo, you want to do it? Yo, we have an idea. We want to do this jump off, whatever, you know, project. Y'all with it or no? Nay, then okay. So, um... I hope they fix it, but also, now, Joe Button says something really reckless, especially to New York people, and, you know, that is SMD, but he did say the project could, SMD, for those that don't understand, SMD means suck my yada yas, dudes dada. And that's, that's no bueno. Even if you're talking about the album, the word SMD shouldn't come out your structure unless you don't give a full nine there about me, period. SMD to know, and he know, he's from Jersey. SMD 
that could possibly get you stabbed, hurt, shot, anything. You say that to the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 total, total, total disrespect. Totally, totally. So you you must be looking for a good dance or whatever comes with that. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's that is F you in the highest form. So I don't know how they're gonna handle that. Hopefully without violence. I am loving hugs. I don't wanna see violence. I don't wanna see it. It just don't make sense. We are not in the 80s. We all know better. We all older. So we just, you know, hopefully they get to straighten that out. And uh, I haven't listened to it, anything that they've done. I've been a little bit. You know, it's okay. It's okay, but yeah. So um, we will see. As I always would say, time will tell. Time will snitch on everything. And that is it, man. Like, once again, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, watching this and um, supporting. I have a lot of things on here that you can check out. You have, uh, like, all my hip-hop videos. I have my web series, New York Minute. Um, of course, this, uh, for people... I have something for people that's trying to connect with their kids. It's called The Beautiful Lie. It's really about keeping your kids out of the street because the streets is a beautiful lie. You know, no one sees her shape, no one sees her face, but everybody love her. Keep your children, communicate with your kids so you can keep them away. I have all these things on here. Plus next, I'm trying to uh, get it together. I want to have like a hip hop and chess thing. You know what I'm saying? I want to play chess. Oh, there go the car. If you hear the call and people screaming, I am in the ghetto. I do live in the ghetto. So you may hear that. You may hear people screams. Uh, even if you happen to hear a gunshot, don't be alarmed. It is the ghetto. And uh, like I was saying, um, yeah, um, yeah, I'm trying to put together a thing where maybe if I can't get hip hop artists who plays chess, you know, I want to stream it and, and we all play games of chess while I ask some questions and have fans who play chess play me and ask me questions. I answer the questions. If not, I probably just stream me playing chess. I am not a grandmaster or anything like that. I am a, a, a average 1300 player on chess.com. And, you know, I love the game of chess. And, you know, I want people to see that you shouldn't be afraid to play the game of chess. Something I love. It's a good pastime. So... I want to get that together soon. So, once again, thank you. I am your host, Illa G. Slid the da da Eat the da da bacon You already know. Uh, I'll see y'all next time in episode two, uh, 103. And uh, peace. Thank you. Salute.